quick walk around of the car while running. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off and give you a full tour. Yeah, I'm shooting on my phone. I'm not a professional vlogger or videographer or anything. This is my 1969 Mach 1. I am the fifth owner. Original owner unknown. It was bought in the early to mid-70s by a family in Hermiston. The wife drove it to their transmission shop regularly and parked out front. Second owner saw it, Mo, or is her name? Yeah, or maybe I'm the fourth owner. Mo's her name, she saw it, she liked it, she bought it from him. She did some work to it. She was a Mustang gal, loved the cars, had several. This car is unrestored. Odometer shows 82,000 miles. It's told to me to be 282,000 miles. It's not a garage find. It's been garaged, but it's been driven regularly for many, many years. Well, let's see. Let's count them up. Since 1969, it's been uh, 44 years. The only time it was not driven it was down for one of its three engine rebuilds or two transmission rebuilds. I added the true 1969 C9ZE 15x7 Magnum 500s. Those are my addition. Mo put a car like glass in it at some time, so the windshield's almost new. Shows almost nowhere. Interior's used but not abused. Oops, probably need to unlock it. You can see the door panels are above average, but not brand new. Original Mach 1 carpeting. Proper seat upholstery with comfort weave, not the embossed vinyl. If you look at it closely, you can see that. Factory fold down rear seat. There were speaker holes in the front of the panels when I got it. I put in factory, I believe 7980 rear deck uh, speakers for the front of the uh, for the front of the rear panels, so you hardly notice that they're there. Not obvious, like a lot of speaker holes cutting them. Sport mirrors, of course. I added a brand new reproduction correct antenna. I also added the correct wiper blades. The hood has not been completely repainted, but it was rattle can at some time in its life. But they only did the center section. You can see the outer pinstripe is still there. And you can see it's the factory pinwheel striping. And it's not a it's painted on, but it was painted on with a guide with, if you look it up, pinstriping, a pinwheel pinstripe. Original hood pins, of course. Lanyards are pretty much worn out. Hood chrome was replaced by me. It's a brand new Scott Drake high quality one and it fits perfectly and looks great. This is the Third rebuild on this engine. I have the original block with the VIN on it. This is a replacement block. The original engine is 60 over currently and needs to be rebuilt, so it'll probably have to be sleeved. There's an NOS export brace added. I put in a Ford Watercraft battery reproduction voltage regulator, hoses, belts, a few other items so that it looks factory. That is an aftermarket overflow tank. We tend to overheat here in the Tri-Cities. We get up in the hundreds pretty regularly. So sometimes after you shut it off, it'll burb a little out, and I hate that, so I put an overflow tank on it. It does have a brand new three-row bolt-in radiator with reproduction cap. It was a very nice factory repairing engine compartment. The car has never been completely repainted, as you can tell by the hood. Fenders are dated to the car, so are the doors and the quarter panels. It has had some paint work done, and the stripes on both sides have been replaced. But 
The trunk has not trunk stripe has never been replaced. It is absolutely not a rusty car. As original paint in the taillight panels, there's not a hint of rust anywhere on this car. Reproduction exhaust tips. Rear valance is a little dented up, but I think it could be uh, PDR'd out. What else is there to say? Oh, driver's side of the interior, I guess. You can see the driver's door is used, but not abused. Seat's used and has some minor splits and wear, but overall in very good condition. Steering wheel is the original Mach 1. Has a split at the top, but not a big deal. This car is a high quality driver in my opinion. I replaced the dash circuit board and put LED lights in the dash so it has a nice smooth glow and when you're driving at night, automatic of course. This is a factory coated 351 four barrel Windsor car. As you can see the door opens and closes nicely. And that's about it. She's a beauty. Might be for sale, might not. I'm getting a lot of inquiries with my listing for the 69 Project car, so I've got a lot of questions about this one since it was shown in the background. Thanks. Have a nice day.